I'm Sir Taptop, and welcome to Let's Play These Monsters. Yes, that's right, Parker. Fresh off of uh, Strange Things release, I, uh, I was planning to do a series of Strange Things games. I think I'll start with this one, actually, even though I already recorded a bunch of the others. Um, control settings. No head bob. Head bob is my least favorite bob. Ah, uh, invert mouse. That's all fine. Darky, please stop. Get, get, get down. So this is Parker. Please. We're having cat technical difficulties. Would you? Get down? Look, spooky crinkle paper. Why are you getting down? You're supposed to be afraid of this. Get down. Sorry about that. Cats are fun. Um. So this is in Infinite Monster Museum, I believe is how it's described on uh, its uh, itch.io page. Ooh, good. Kill without reason. They are drowning in light. And they can kill without reason. They're just like me. <sighs> I love Strange Things games. There, there's a bunch more videos coming. I... Uh, was I had an order planned out, but uh, since this one's brand spanking new, I think I'll just go ahead and upload this one in first. Oh, this is cool. The, does the black stuff grow? I hadn't. What's strange is I've seen bits of this. Uh, strange Think has a uh, Twitter where you can see lots of uh, in progress shots of stuff. I think the I've seen stuff kind of like this, but I didn't know this one exactly was coming. I, I was expecting something else. Oh, is is this the one with the portals? Maybe this is the one with the portals. But this is all procedurally generated. If you're not familiar with Strange Things games, uh, they're generally all about procedural generated cool weirdness. They love information. Oh, this is so cool. We've got different colors of water. There's another game called, uh, oh, cool. So each dimension has its own colors. So every, that weird door we went through earlier was a portal to a different dimension. So yeah, I did see bits of this. It, it's changed a lot since, since the Twitter posting. So I guess I should expect that. But each dimension has its own symbol too. So yeah, now we're in a different dimension with different colors. It looks fairly similar to the last one. But yeah, one thing. Oh, the water effects are cooler. Oh, what happened? Oh, if you go too far, you go. It gets very misty. See, all the crazy architecture, it's all procedurally generated. Does this. There, was, there were postings of a game that would, where static would grow from TVs. I guess this isn't that game? That it just grows really slowly. And it was changed from static. Oh, Alright, what we got? At the sky, they have screened. So there was an earlier game. Ooh, I like this one. It's got like teeth and it's like, it's all spidery. It's a very good one. Um,. There was another game with, um, oh yeah, it was Mystery Tapes that has uh, text generation. It wasn't as good as the text generation in this one. It sort of had some bits of sense, but this, the text generation. They're drowning in light. They move in darkness. I guess maybe the, maybe it's just more restricted on what it can say, but there's more reasonable phrases in this one. Screaming. I think we already saw that one. So let's find another teleporter. Oh, I think I saw one. Yep. They move in darkness. Yeah, we already. I think we just saw that. They each have a purpose. Ooh, I like this. This is a lot more sinister than most of Strange Things stuff. 
I think I have all the Strange Things games except I, um, oh man, what was the name of that one? It was something Ritual. And Abstract Ritual, I've played it, I can't find my executable file for it, and Strange Thing pulled it from, um, from Itch.io, and I can't find it anywhere. I would really like to access that game. Uh, if the developer is watching or anything, I would really like... I won't distribute or anything, but I would like to at least be able to make a video of that. I'm a big fan of art preservation, so I don't really... I'm not a big fan of taking down things, even if you don't like them anymore, but... Uh, oh cool, it can be on top! I really love the colors in this. One... Um, the one slightly drab thing about Secret Habitat was uh, the colors, they're good colors, but they get a little old after a while. So after a while you feel like you've seen sort of everything. I was expecting more portals. It's a little difficult to find portals in this. I also kind of wish these monsters had names. Oop. That was half of the fun with... Uh, they wish for sadness. Same. Uh, ah, here's some good ones. We've got Plugthar, the Plug Flervenator. We've got. That's just Jim from accounting. And we've got Resor, the Skull Facinator. All good monsters. And this guy. We don't talk about this guy. Ooh, purple! Hello there! I love this water. I guess we can't get wandered too far out. Like, each dimension is fairly small, but there's infinite procedural dimensions, I do believe. Whee. I wish more alt games and, like, weird surreal games went the uh, procedural generated route, or, like, walking sims, I mean, because sometimes I just want to wander around and chill out. You can, look at this guy's face. What a dork. He's got those stupid eyes and those little blue eyebrows and a third eyebrow. You don't need a third. It's like a, it's like a tr trinibrow. The evolved form of the unibrow. Where you have a unibrow and you shave bits of the normal brow. You know, just to say heck no to convention. This is the green zone. Oh, I love those rainbows at the top. But yeah, this is definitely the green zone. And with red, with orange architecture very nice I these are all good colors even this one even this one oh something's happened to your face friend uh, i don't and your beard i think your beard is eating your skin that's oh what's this they know where the bodies are buried or the truth is buried nice so i i think those like, there's probably a more limited... They reject false data. It seems like there's a more restricted set of words and sentence structures they can use in this game. It makes more sense, so I can't really complain about it. Also, a stupid thing to praise, but I love that Strange Things games have good movement speed and jumping. Because I want to explore in my, you know, exploration games. You know, aka walking sims, but... Lots of people call them exploration games, and it's like, a problem is that a lot of them make exploring a little painful because of how slowly they move. But I love the procedurally generated static. It's not quite super staticky, but it's very interesting. I mean, it's not quite plain static, but sometimes you don't want it to just be plain. So let's find another portal. Uh, if this is your first Strange Think game, I mean, there's no objective or ending or anything. I'm just exploring to enjoy myself, which is something more people could stand to do in games, in my opinion. Oh man, these gradients. These are these are ace gradients. I love these. And the, the water. Okay, I want to see what happens if I wander out too far. Oh, you just can't. Okay. Look at that. I love the auroras. I, oh, 
Does it affect the building? No, the building just has... It's just our distance, so it's like a cool lighting shader thing. What's this say? Yeah, they reject false data. So yeah, there's sort of more limited on the uh, variety of words, but or sentences, but they're all nice and creepy. And this guy's on fire. I believe this is Undertale's true pacifist final boss, but he's on fire. Everyone in this dimension seems to be on fire. That must be unpleasant for them. And this guy... I think this is one of Andros's like, cousins. And this one is Peppy's brother, who's a little slow. And this... This is just a sad lemur. That's just a sad lemur, that's all that is. And that... That is a small pink man sitting on top of a large throne. That's a good one. I like that one. Alright, let's go into the portal. I like these ceilings. Those are nice ceilings. <laughs> I just love being able to jump up a whole thing. And this is like goat... Or la this is like llama goat Satan here with, with two doves bringing um, jalapenos of freedom or peace or whatever jalapenos represent. And this is like a, an alien guy like reaching for you. These are these are good. These are premium face generation technology results. This is another one where it's actually just a little red dude this is psycho mantis um in like a big pile of green fire that's a very good one <laughs> i like this little observation deck sure is green today ah i love the water and the the beaches the beach element adds to it a lot I could wander in this for like an hour if somebody doesn't stop me, but uh, I'll probably look through, I'll look through two more dimensions and I'll give at least one more gallery evaluation. This guy, hmm, actually I think this guy is that one boss from Link to the Past with a really stupid helmet on top. See this part is the the wizard from Link to the Past and this is just... This is a misnomer. This is this is one of the this is the ultimate form of an inkling from uh, Splatoon. Don't mess with that guy. This this is like a cute robot. See, this is a cute robot standing on top of a pile of his many victims. Oh, well, it's green out here today too. I like the nice ambience. I already saw that one. Let's look at the other ones here. This is Mario. This is Mario standing on top of Wario. And this... This is also that guy from Link to the Past standing on top of dead Kirby's and Inklings, apparently. So that's nice. This is some sort of elephant god standing on a giant single-eyed butterfly. That's pretty nice. Oh! Have you guys been to the red zone? I love the red zone. It's just... Mm, the red zone. Everybody loves the red zone. Especially on the roof. The roof is the greatest place to appreciate the uh, red zone. Ooh, I just have to take a quick peek. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a poopy yellow zone. This isn't a good zone. We're going back. Oh, it's a not quite caco demon. That's nice. Yeah, we're going back to this one, the red zone. I believe these three are cousins. And this one, this is the spider demon. This is just the spider demon from Doom. He's doing well for himself. Ah, the red.
grid sound. Very nice. Okay, since that one zone was poopy and pee pee, I wanna. Ah, the blue zone. Very nice. Very calm zone. Aside from the monsters that are on fire. This is Peppy in his ultimate form. Or not Peppy. Slippy in his ultimate form. Do not anger him. He sleeps without care. Yeah, they reject false data. So yeah, we, I think we've seen a sizable amount of the possible text things at this point. Yeah, everyone in this dimension is on fire. At least everyone on this floor is on fire. Okay, I'm going to break my promise. I want to see one more. I got to stop myself. Oh, no, this is back to the red zone. I just love wandering around in these things. And they're so they're, they're just good for wandering around. Ah, yes. Oh, wait. Oh, it's very pink today. With desolate blue landscapes. Now this is a classic Strange Think sky. Strange Think really loves the pink. Which is good. But I do like the more variety of colors we get in this one. Ooh. Mr. Skull Marine. Or a mouse with a really cool mustache. Either or. Either or. This is like a Rorschach test, the game. Oh, man. This is a rejected, like, um, Star Fox persona with really big eyes. This one's just sinister somehow, but I'm not sure. Ooh. It's very purple. Ah, the purple. Okay, I will stop myself at some point. Ooh, what's this one say? Something has been stolen. <laughs> they will take back what was stolen. It has been stolen. Nice. Oh, this is just a fat little friend. This isn't a monster. This is just a fat little friend. This is an oddly nice place to just chill out and relax, despite the sinister aura. I just want to relax here and take a nap and be like, yeah, colors. To be quite honest, if this is, this is like a stereotypical Arabic, like, businessman with Samus Aran's ship for a hat. That's nice. And this is some guy that really thinks a lot of himself. Look at that. He's real proud of himself. That's Jim. We don't talk about Jim. That's that same guy with the Samus hat. That's... That's a little dude. That's this little dude here. With a big friend. I could probably do this forever. I guess I'll cut myself off. One more, one more dimension. I want to see the colors of one more dimension. And then I will actually stop. For $8,000 a month, I will stop. Please contribute to my patron. I don't plug it very often. I actually do have a patron, if you care to uh, subscribe to it. I uh, I give early videos, are my is my big thing, and Parker Pictures. It's $1 for a uh, big roundup of Parker pictures every at the end of every month. Ooh, good! This is a good one. Oh, that's a good one. I'm not as ec ecstatic about the neon green. It's, you know, it's a bit plain, but this, the pinkness. I'm gonna call this zone the pinkness. Um, yeah, and for five bucks I give basically any video that I have ready to go but I'm not publishing yet. Um, all my $5 patrons get early, so you get an unlisted link to all my ready-to-go videos. They're not- I don't like to call it early access. They're actually done, just I'm not publishing them yet, so they're- They're real videos, they're not, you know- I'm not sure how you can make a buggy video, but they're not that. Alright, I've- I've gone to 10 more dimensions than I was supposed to. Someone please stop me. I just- I'm gonna look through this one. Ooh! Orange. I'm so impressed by colors. 
Oh, this one, this is the final boss. So this is, this is an appropriate area to stop in. Oh man, look at this guy. Look at those eyes. Oh, these are so good. This is, this is just the Doom 4 cover art. That's Ganon. And that... I think that's a Mass Effect villain species thing. Ooh, the yellow space. Oh, I love this impractical architecture. This just massive overhang. Okay, that's enough. This has been These Monsters. This is a pay what you want game on itch.io. You can download it right now for free or for whatever you choose to pay. And there's one thing I really like about itch.io, you can uh, give money to something after you download it, even if you claim it for free. So uh, you can try something out and if you really like it, you can support the artist. So that's really cool. I don't trust this guy. I'm going to end the video before he can eat my soul.